Hola, my people. How's it going? Um, thanks for joining me again on this session. Um, I think payday is around the corner, and we all know what that is. Y'all gonna get paid and start rushing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what? I don't want to start mentioning what y'all guys most money on. Payday is around the corner. Let's stop wasting our mind. Guys, you know how it is. It's so hard to get a job. It's really hard to get a job. And some of us, you know, pull 20 hour shifts only to waste money at the end of it all. Only to waste hard and money. And there's only one reason for that. It's because we don't budget. And budgeting is simply planning. And it's a must. And don't just get um, casual about it. Um, because at the end of the day, we just get casual. You do it the first month, you do it the second month, and then the third month, you're like, ah, and then that's the nonsense which we want to kill today and as always i've got my notes um with me so that i don't rumble on because you know once i get started on talking i can just go on and on and on and on so guys we know payday is around the corner and some of us are going to start wasting money as soon as possible you know, some people have already been paid and they're already broke. Installments have gotten them and they didn't budget for their money. They didn't plan what they wanted to do and it's, it's bad. And the reality is, you know, people don't want to talk about it and it's fine. But I've said, you know what, I want to make that um, platform available. Most of the people don't want to talk about it, but the reality is, you know, you guys, we, some of us, the employed people, uh, living paycheck to paycheck the reason why that's um, a reality is because we don't plan and how do we plan for um, you know not living paycheck to paycheck it's just simply one way of doing it is to budget that is one way of doing it simply to budget I just want to go over some of the stupid things which we did and um, which I used to do before I got financially conscious and it's some of the things which you guys who, um, who might be in the similar situation are doing even now you know what i mean because we've made it normal in our lives just to let that be just to let that be the situation you know and i think you gotta take charge and don't don't just think you're gonna do it on your head you need to grab a pen and paper and just write everything down which you're spending your money on we always complain and say we are not getting paid enough but in reality what do you mean by not getting paid enough enough to do what exactly with the little that you are earning, what are you spending it on? So that's going to be my focus today, just to say, you know what? Um, have a look at your finances. Look at where you're bleeding out. Because I can guarantee you, we like having fun as young people. We like spending money on things that give us um, that feeling of being happy temporarily. While in, in the broader um, perspective, there's a lot which we're struggling on. So change your mindset be financially conscious and just have a look at um, my budgeting mistakes um, which I've done before and guys I'm serious about this sometimes I pull in like close to 19 to 20 hour shifts a day 19 to 20 hour shifts a day just to spend money at the end of the mind I have a um, hundred rands left with other things still not being um, done and that was when I was getting like my full salary. And now um, I'm going to try and focus on the average which I'm getting now because I'm not getting my full salary. Like I said, the events industry is being really bad. Um, so I'm going to work on the average um, income I've been getting since March when all things um, started going badly. Which income which I was getting. So I'm going to work on 6000 which is that the average income after tax, which I'll probably be getting um, when which pro, which I've been getting so there's two ways of doing a budget number one you just put your projected amount which is the budget and then on the next um, section or column just do a column where you want to do the actual amount which is now the actual amount which you've gotten as an income as well as the money which um, you've spent the actual expense and keep track of these things because they help you project your next expenses for the next coming few months they put some things into um, perspective for example say you'd budgeted you're going to spend about um, 200 bucks on electricity and then you find that you actually spend about 400 bucks so now you know that you need to adjust your budget to 400 bucks or 
adjust um, your usage just to try and limit that number. You follow? All right, cool. So now let's um, talk about my budgeting mistakes before. So this is what before I became financially conscious. So if you're still going to work on that average um, 6,000, um, even though it sometimes it was higher, sometimes it, you know, it was less, but let's just talk about the average 6,000. So um, back then I was still living in my own place and I was paying a rent of 1,900 per month. And that was the rent for the bed sitter. And then I had to buy my own electricity, so that's about another 300 bucks on that one. And then I bought my mom electricity where to the place that I've moved back to at home. So I bought my mom about 150 worth of electricity every month religiously. And I used to pay at the STV. Now, here's the note. Because um, I wasn't financially conscious, I was just paying for the sake of paying, right? I've got the money, I know I'm supposed to pay at the STV. I was paying extra. The, the month which I was supposed I was supposed to be paying 110 bucks every month but just because I thought eh whatever why not I was paying about 140 for the DSTV every month all right that's it about 30 bucks wasted there um, and yes we are penny pinching um, okay and then of course the I had to buy food and I was averaging between 900 bucks for food I've got rent at 1.9 I've got the budget electricity at about 300 and I had to buy my mom, um, I was buying my mother electricity for 150 watts of units and the food, my food costs were about 900 bucks. Right. So now, um, I was putting aside about 200 bucks. Um, the lady I work with, she likes doing these things um, with the police and whatnot, whatnot. And that's 200 bucks every month. So uh, whatever that one, that's that. And then in terms of unnecessary expenses, which, um, sorry, no, before I get there, and then of course there was the bank loan of about 1.3. Yeah? Right, so now, and then, because I was living alone, living the nice life, I had things like Netflix, which was setting me back about 200 bucks every month. Um, and then there was um, my internet um, connection. So I had Touch IT, I was sharing it with my neighbor. So we were paying um, 500 bucks, but the split between two, so I was paying 250 for that. And then I had my source mobile internet, which was setting me back about 450 every month. Um, and then of course, um, I had to put a tracker on my car, um, and that was about 180 bucks on that. So, things I was wasting money on, ne unnecessary things, which, you know, why? Why were they there? Keep in mind, I haven't budgeted for fuel. I haven't budgeted for any emergencies. I haven't budgeted for any unforeseen issues which might occur within that period. Yeah? Okay. So things I was wasting money on. And mind you, I haven't touched scholarship. I knew I had to pay it, but I wasn't paying it because I couldn't afford to. At the end of the month, you'd find it's, I'm, I'm budgeting, I've left with about 130 bucks, if not less, because of the wastage. There's a lot of things which need to be put into perspective when you're budgeting. Have a look at what you're wasting your money on. Have a look at what you can cut on so that you can um, be able to put towards your debt, which is my goal. My goal is to cut as much as I can so that I can put towards the debt. Today, we, we sometimes you might, you know, have the luxury of now paying off all your living expenses and then having a lot extra and not knowing what to do. I know I'm gonna save it aside. And that's not how saving works. Besides, no one ever going to preach from saving. The best way of doing savings, which has worked for me, is to save with the purpose. And I think I'll touch on that on the next video where I'm just discussing how to start paying off debt, having your emergency fund and 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 so now here's me um, now currently in this situation this month of november budgeting on that same average six thousand bucks which is what i've been earning between march and now and march and october so now in november here's my budget with me being um, financially conscious so number one i had to move back home because i had to cut that expense of about 1.9 at the time it was really bad and in terms of any money it was really really bad and i couldn't afford um staying at the place for rent so that's, that's, I talked about sacrifices in the last video, and that's one of the sacrifices which I had to do. So 
the car after that. So I, what am I actually spending money on now? I'm spending money on electricity because I'm not paying rent at home. And that's about between 250 bucks, which I've bought it in four. And then I'm still paying my mother's JCV, which is at the cost which I'm supposed to pay it at 110 bucks. Okay. And then I am putting aside my emergency fund because I'm stockpiling it and I want it to reach a certain amount. Um, emergency funds is very important and it gives you that feeling of not being broke you know that period when you finish paying off your monthly expense bill and you are either left with some money to spend on useless stuff as we normally do or maybe those who are smart enough put it aside and now you're waiting for the next paycheck and one of the reason why I have an emergency fund is just so I can make myself feel good that you know what I am not broke even though I'm not going to touch that money unless it's for expenses, I mean, it's for, unless it's for emergency expenses, I'm not talking about going on dates or filling up fuel because I want to go help so and so. No, no, no. It's for extreme emergencies. And I don't know what those are yet. I haven't decided what I'll use that money on and haven't decided to say this is worth me taking on that emergency fund. But I know I put aside a thousand bucks um, for that. As a savings on my on my emergency fund, and then I spend nine hundred bucks on food, and then by the way, it's just two people, it's just me and my mom. So I spend nine hundred bucks on food. She also had an ads a little bit extra. So for my side, I budget about nine hundred bucks, but it's more. It comes usually to about a thousand or so, depends on how I've done the shopping that month, and then of course, Pilila is still there with uh, the Holy Swan, so I still put in that two hundred bucks. Okay, so that's what I'm currently spending money on. And then, of course, um, I, di I disconnected my, discontinued my source mobile. So now I budget about 200 bucks on um, airtime and connectivity. I also got the company um, SIM card, which is on contract. So that also helps a bit. And then I budget about 400 bucks in fuel. So you see now I'm able to even budget fuel on my money. Whilst before, I didn't budget for it. Whatever amount of money I had left behind, I'd either be spending it on that and then other um, stuff like going out and whatever okay and then I've got a line item of about 500 bucks which I won't mention what it's for uh, so now things which I've cut out which um, you know looking at it now we're wasting my money and also I could do without number one it's the touch IT internet so that's 250 safe there it's the source of my mobile internet. That's 450 bucks saved there. It's um, Netflix. That's about 200 bucks saved there, and it's a it's the tracker, which is 180 bucks saved there. So doesn't seem like it's a lot now, but considering the circumstances and also that these things are in paper, and in reality, not everything matches what you've got down in paper. Okay. So let's be smart, let's be financially conscious and let's put things down in a budget so that we save money. Don't be afraid to make sacrifices. You are not going to get anywhere in life if you are not willing to make sacrifices. If you've got a mountain of debt to pay, make those sacrifices. So now, with that extra which is um, staying behind, so we'll now start paying off the 1.3 minimum um, Sorry, I'll start paying the 1.3 bank loan. Now remember, I don't actually know how much I'm paying off in terms of my bank loan. They always send the messages like, oh, 900 taken here, 50 rents taken here, whatever. So I've always summed it up to say it's between 1.2, 1.3. So I always say I'm budgeting. Um, so 1.3 is always going for the monthly bank loan. And then whatever extra that remains behind, after all my um, living expenses, I then put towards paying off the bank loan. So now I have um, projected I'll have about a thousand and forty bucks extra. Normally I'll just spend that money on whatever, right? I've already done my savings, so I'd either be going out, going to the movies before it got shut down. You know, buying pizzas every Tuesdays and Thursdays, buying the KFC specials, these things that we waste money on, right? 
I don't have much of a social life, but I did um, spend money. I do spend money on food. So that's one thing that makes me happy. I do spend money on food. And you know what I mean? So you also have your own thing which you spend money on, whether you're going out for social things with your friends every weekend, whatever. Um, so now, instead of just taking that money and just leaving it there to spend it and give myself that feeling, it's all oh, I've got money. I take that money, I will take that money and put it to ones like that. So that is the plan of terms of budgeting and that's the outlook which I'm looking um, in terms of when I make this budgeting. So what are you spending your money that you earn? Little, huge sums, doesn't really matter. We will always complain and say we're not getting paid enough. But that money which you're getting, what are you spending it on? Okay, and the leftover which you have got after you've budgeted, What's your plan with it? So I'd really advise that guys, we stop wasting our money and start using it towards something positive. Well, we are always quick on spending money on things which won't give us a return. But the moment we start, you know, doing something productive, you start now paying off your debt, you feel like, hey, it's hard, it's painful. That's how it's supposed to be when you're spending money. It's supposed to be hard and painful, except for those who are in connections, except for those who, you know, um, have found sort of a cheat to make it in life. If you're feeling inspired, if you're feeling motivated, do share with family and friends, um, and you, because you never know um, who might be needing this motivation. And the reality is, as people, we don't like talking about money, and we've seen a lot of um, challenges which have been presented by people being stressed out about money and um, because that can mess you up mentally and socially feel free to share this video with your friends and family i'll catch you on the next one